As the McAllister family gathers at Peter and Kate's house in a suburb of Chicago, they are all acting disorderly as they get ready for their Christmas vacation in Paris. A pretend police officer named Marv tries to get their attention, but they all ignore him. Kevin goes to Kate's room to complain that Uncle Frank isn't letting him watch the movie, but she ignores him by saying that she's on the phone, so Kevin approaches her. Kevin, the youngest son of Peter and Kate, is made fun of by his older siblings but refuses to follow Peter's instructions after hearing Kate complain to Peter about him playing with glue guns in the garage rather than picking up his toys downstairs. Uncle Leslie goes to Kate and Peter's room to borrow some voltage adapters, but instead she catches Kevin and gets him down. Uncle Leslie then orders Kevin to pack his suitcase, shocking him. Kevin explains to his father, resulting in him being carried out of the room by Peter. Since he doesn't know how to pack a suitcase, Kevin immediately asks his older brother Jeff for assistance. However, Jeff and his siblings, including Megan, are unable to assist Kevin, so Kevin tries asking Linny, who appears behind them. However, Linny only tells Kevin that Kate will pack his belongings, so he shouldn't worry. Frustrated, Kevin whines and says that he'll live alone once he's older because it makes him sick to see full of Kevin wishes his family would vanish, during the night once they were inside. The next day, sudden heavy winds damaged the power lines in their neighborhood, causing a power outage. In addition to the damage, the wind also reset the alarm clocks, causing the McAllister family to oversleep. Panicking, the McAllister family rushes to get ready for the airport. Heather receives a command from Kate to count everyone in the van. However, after counting her siblings, she discovers that Kevin even engages in celebration as he revels in his newfound freedom. Kevin, on the other hand, spends his day inside their home playing and watching. Later that night, as the Christmas season finally arrives, two burglars named Harry and Marv are planning inside their van to break into other vacant houses in the neighborhood, when they unexpectedly target the McAllister's opulent house. Harry and Marv immediately prepare their crowbars upon parking outside, and as they gradually walk to break in, Kevin suddenly notices their shadows. After hearing them enter the basement, Kevin eventually stands up and turns on the light so that Harry and Marv will believe someone is inside. Kevin hides under the bed when he starts to feel scared. Meanwhile, the McAllister family finally makes it to Paris and rushes to the phone booth to call the police. Kate then tells Peter to book a flight home and instructs Leslie to contact everyone who lives on their street. On the other hand, Kevin goes outside their house to meet Harry and Marv while yelling that he's not scared anymore. However, he unexpectedly runs into Marley, who enables him to leave right away sadly. Kate tries to call the police at their neighborhood station, and even her kids who called their neighbors are unsuccessful. However, after Kate's second attempt, the police station finally gets a police officer to check Kevin in their home, but the officer reports that no one is there after checking at their home. After a while, Kate tells Peter that the policeman is finally checking their home when all flights for the next two days are already booked. Kevin is walking home when suddenly he almost gets hit by Harry and Marv's van. Shocked, Kevin realizes that it was Marv who tried to trespass on their house. Marv decides to follow Kevin to find out which house he's going to, but Kevin instead leads them to a church. Later that night, Kevin uses mannequins to trick Harry and Marv into thinking his family is still home. Harry and Marv decide to postpone their plans after seeing that the next morning, Kevin begins his routine of showering by himself, going grocery shopping by himself, and washing his clothes in their laundry while Harry and Marv wait outside their home. However, Marv unexpectedly commands Harry to enter their home, so Harry walks straight to the back of the house when suddenly, Kevin notices his shadow outside. Shocked, Kevin turns on the television to alert Harry that someone is inside before using the fireworks. Marv advises Harry to wait and see who he heard at McAllister's house while Kate only makes it as far as Scranton, Pennsylvania. Frustrated and losing her cool, Kate tries to book a flight back to Chicago again but is unsuccessful because every seat is already taken. When Kate finally gets frustrated with the passenger assistant, Gus Polinski, the leader of a traveling polka band, overhears her complaints and approaches her. Gus then excuses Kate from the passenger assistant and introduces himself as a band member. Later, when Kate learns more about Gus's band, she overhears Gus inviting her to travel in a moving van with them to Chicago on their way to Milwaukee. When Kevin runs into Marley again, he approaches him and sits next to him. 
Later, he points out his granddaughter in the choir, whom he never gets to meet, and then he dispels the rumors about him by saying that he can't see her because he isn't welcome at his son's home. Fortunately, Marley finally persuades himself to call his son after hearing Kevin suggest that they should make up. As Harry and Marv are about to torture Kevin, Marley steps in and uses his snow shovel to knock them out. Later, the police arrive. Meanwhile, Kevin calls the police and runs away to his treehouse. Later, he lures Harry and Marv into the home of the Murphy family, which they had previously broken into. Harry and Marv then follow him. Fortunately, Kevin gets to spend Christmas with his family. He is shocked to see his siblings, Peter, Buzz, Jeff, Megan, and Linny, hugging Kate as they enter the house. Actually, they had only waited in Paris for two days to get a direct flight to Chicago. However, Kevin skips over his encounter with Harry and Marv, saying that he only hangs out with them when they are away. Then, Peter notices Harry's knocked-out gold tooth on the floor, 